For Monaco's Seaside Urban Extension Project, Wieg Travaux Public has developed unparalleled construction methods to minimize site impact on the environment. Enabling six hectares to be reclaimed, the infrastructure is, for the main part, built from the sea. It is made up of reclamation ground, surrounded by a concrete caisson belt placed on an underwater backfill. It can accommodate a small port. As early as 2014, with its partners Tractebel, Andromed Oceanologie and DHI, the consortium carried out an impact study to pinpoint the site's environmental challenges and integrate them into the project's core conception and execution methods. Even before the start of works, the first environmental actions are implemented. 47 large noble pen shells are moved to the Lavrotto Marine Reserve. Continuous turbidity monitoring devices and two anti-turbidity underwater screens are set up around the site. Finally, a noise protection screen is built along the shoreline. Dredging operations will then begin. Silt is extracted using an excavator with a watertight ecological grab to avoid suspending material. The first riprap layer of the portier dike is then removed to create nearby ecological artificial reefs. To keep turbidity levels down, a dredge sucks out sediment without discharging water. This sediment is taken to a deposit location, specially chosen to respect fauna and flora at a depth of 200 meters. Backfilling can then begin on the exposed rocky floor. Quarry prepared materials are stored and washed in the port of Toulon. They are loaded onto a dedicated ship and delivered to Monaco after a 10-hour sea journey. Robotized piping then positions them as near as possible to the sea floor. After reaching its final level, backfill is compacted by floating devices, then adjusted via an underwater grader. Throughout these phases, site teams pay particular attention to sound and light emissions to limit impact for local residents. At the same time, in the port of Fosse-sur-Mer, production of 18 reinforced concrete caissons, making up the new district's protective belt, will start. 26 meters in height and weighing 10,000 tons each, they are built by continuous casting in a large floating metal structure known as a caissonnier. Once concrete is poured and the weight of its structure increases, the caisson caissonnier unit slowly sinks. After being floated, the caissons are completed, prepared, then towed to Monaco and run aground on the backfill foundation. They are ballasted with sea water, then weighted with quarry material. Developed by Brigue Travaux Public's R&D teams, its specialized biocitive structure, together with specialists in ecological restoration, the Caisson's façade is fitted with devices which can accommodate sea fauna and flora. Once the Caisson belt has been finished, construction of the reclamation ground begins. This is done using sea sand, extracted from the north of Sicily by a suction dredger, displacing a mixture of sand and water that settles in the new enclosure. Water from this decantation is pumped by the dredge. It is not discharged onto the site. All these precautions help restrict turbidity. After final reinforcement work, the platform is ready to receive the new Echo District. The overall project is scheduled to be executed within 50 months, of which 40 will be needed for Wieg Travaux Public's teams and partners to complete this ambitious worksite, essentially carried out from the sea. The eco-designed sea structures and artificial reefs will constitute new ecological corridors. The nearby Tombon des Spelug coral reef will be restored. The management plan, drawn up by the Principality, in cooperation with the Consortium, will ensure overall long-term project cohesion. Respecting the site's strong environmental requirements from both natural and urban points of view, this project affords Monaco an opportunity for harmonious development, respecting residents and nature.